two days from today, on uh, the 18th, we will be getting Agatha All Along on Disney+. Plus. Uh, Alan Ng from Film Threat is getting the first four episodes tomorrow, but he's not allowed uh, to talk about it. Actually, that was from the 15th, so yeah, he actually is allowed to talk about it. The social embargo ends Monday night, which is tonight, and then we will get to uh, hear what he thinks about it. I personally could care less about this show. Uh, Agatha was, I I guess she was the villain in WandaVision. Of course, you could say that Wanda was also the villain, but uh, Agatha Harkness was uh, the the behind-the-scenes villain, I guess, and then uh, they did that whole stupid uh, uh, TV montage where it was Agatha all along, and now uh, Agatha is, is... being broken out of the spell that she was left in at the end of WandaVision by uh, this this teen. <laughs> and uh, I'll give you a hint uh, what his pronouns are. <laughs> I don't know personally, but I can almost guarantee what his pronouns are, are, are going to be. Uh, I try to get a, a, a idea of what the plot of this show is. If you look here on IMDb, a spellbound Agatha Harkness regains freedom thanks to a teen's help. Intrigued by his plea, she embarks on the witch's road trials to reclaim her powers and discover the teen's motivation. Uh, When a new series of tragedies strike the city of Westview, the infamous Agatha Harkness finds herself down and out of power when a suspicious goth teen else break her free from a distorted spell. Her interest is piqued when he begs her to take him on the legendary Witch's Road, a magical gauntlet of trials that, if survived, rewards a witch with what they're missing. Together, Agatha and this mysterious teen pull together a desperate coven and set off down the road. Oh, set off down, down, down the road. I, I don't understand why we got three downs. Is that a He's on down, he's on down the road. Is that was like that? Is that is that what they're going for there? Uh, don't really give a crap about the show, man. It, it, I don't understand the plot. I guess it's Agatha trying to get the power back that she had had before uh, Wanda got a hold of her. Uh, Catherine Hahn is is okay. I've never really cared for her too much. Aubrey Plaza, I really like, which is is gonna. It's sad that she's in this, uh, because I'm not gonna watch it, just because Audrey Plaza's in it. Uh, that is that's not gonna affect uh, or make me want to watch it at all. Uh, I don't recognize really any of these other people except for uh, Deborah Jo Rupp, who plays uh, Mrs. Hart. Of course, uh, she's Kitty from that '70s show. I I love her, uh, the characters, and I, I liked her character in. WandaVision, but she's only in, well, they, it says they all say just one episode. Well, no, these say nine episodes. So she's just in one episode. Uh, and then you got, I guess these other people are people I've never heard of. I've never heard of any of these. <sighs> Look at this. Okay. You got this guy. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. She looks okay. She's okay. This guy here looks like uh Somebody surprised the shit out of him. I don't know. Patty Lupone. Don't know who that is. She looks like an older actress. But regardless of all that, uh, they have said that this is a very gay show. Uh, this is probably the gayest show that they've ever put out on Disney Plus, according to them. Uh, just like they also said that The Acolyte was the gayest Star Wars that they put out on Disney plus and we see what happened to the accolade because nobody wanted to watch it because most straight people aren't interested in shows about gay people. It just, that's how it works. I like watching shows that are along the line with my life and the way I perceive life. And uh, watching a show about all gay people would not be anywhere near the way that I am, the way I live my life. There's just no point to watch it. I'm not interested in it. And most people that are straight 
feel the same way. So guess, uh, wake up people. Yeah. I'm sure that a lot of gay people will, will like this show and a lot of gay people like the acolyte, but it wasn't enough to, uh, to, to keep the shows on the air, at least the acolyte. We don't know about this one yet, but I, I, I can almost, uh, I can make a prediction <laughs> based on previous experience. So yeah, Aubrey Plaza, I really like her from, uh, uh, Parks and Rec and, and, and Scott Pilgrim. She's a great actress, uh, and a lot of fun, but I just don't see her being all, all that much fun in this. I just don't see this whole show being fun at all. And, uh, we'll find out there's no, there, there, there's no, uh, obviously no reviews on it so far, because like I said, the embargo doesn't lift until tonight. I think that they're planning on releasing it uh, uh, several episodes at a time, at least the first few episodes. So that kind of gives you a indication that they may not have much confidence in it. They may need to get it out there as quickly as possible so they can roll through it and get it over with and never have to worry about it again. <laughs> Just like the Acolyte, you know, they strip it off of Disney Plus and Never have to worry about it again. Just, nope, don't even release it on Blu-ray. Don't do nothing with it. Just throw it in the shitter and, and let it go. And that's probably where this show is going to head. Uh, I'll make that prediction. It's definitely got a lot of uh, woke ideology. And uh, it's for sure going to promote the message. So that's where we're at now. We'll... uh I'm not going to watch it. Maybe you guys will watch it. Let me know what you think about it, but I'll definitely watch some reviews and, and at least see what other people thought about it and uh, laugh about how terrible it is with everyone else. Thanks for tuning in guys. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and uh, share this video with all your friends. I would appreciate that. And uh, until next time, bye for now.